this is actually not the spare tire rim. Because if you notice on Studebakers that um, they got these three slots in the rim for uh, those uh, dog dish hubcaps that they put on all the models. So somewhere on this car there is a, uh, a regular steel rim without these slots on it. And that's really the spare tire rim. So eventually I'm going to find that tire and um, swap rims with them because I'm just picky like that. And then it would really be a spare tire. Also, in 1951, overhead valve um, engines was modern engine technology back then, because a good majority of um, of other vehicles still had flathead engines. And yeah, some um, all these little rubber grommets I'm at to replace too. I mean, it is an old car. So there's a lot of things I'm going to have to replace on it, such as that one. It's all cracked up. That one's pretty much gone. But wouldn't it be nice to be able to have an engine this simple to work on again? Well, look at that. It's just the basics. None of that computer bullshit or anything else. Just what it needs to run. This engine is rated at 120 horsepower and uh, back in the early 50s that was impressive. It is a uh, 232 cubic inch V8 engine. It doesn't have time and chain, it's got time and gears. That's your firing order right there. But yeah, there you go. It also came with three spare hubcaps. <laughs> this is a light that lights up the license plate. your trunk. Well, that unlocks your trunk. Actually, there's a little uh, cover that, that swings on you to cover that up, like the door handles have. It's just little things, but for this one.
me the other way. This is your defroster. It's got two speeds, a high and low. That's low, high. Now you turn it the other way. There's a floor heater. And it also has that, or you could run them both, the floor heater and the defroster at the same time, if you wanted to. This opens up the side vents. Like I'll push it. This is your dimmer for your dash lights. That's also your headlights. And for the other handle, you know, to open up the vent, you got this one. Turn it up, you'll open the vent. Fresh air vent on this side. And the vent that I pulled over earlier opens up the one on this side. Close them. That one's closed. I noticed that the clock doesn't work. So I might be looking at that and Get that one going again. It's the mileage on the car. Two sun visors. Still waiting for the license plates to come in. Well, one of them. And then I could drive it on the road. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on the carport. Doesn't have a power steering, but it's not all that bad, really.